graduates in Increase for Communication Design, our first two graduates from the Communication Design program. And um, thinking, how do I introduce these two ladies? Um, and like Diane said, we learn just as much from them as they learn from us. So I decided I would tell you what I learned from them as an introduction. Brittany says enough. Great to me. First and foremost, I learned that I am not the only person that breaks into musicals, and that's okay. <laughs> I also realized that sweats, a tee, a hoodie, and some rubber boots is fashionable. <laughs> I learned, as did all the communication design students, Lisa and many, many people here, that you can design with one hand when you only have the use of one hand. And that's amazing. And finally, I can no longer say I'm the only tap dancing communication designer. She joins me in that. Joanna Pettit, Joe, Josephine. Wow. Um, first of all, I have three words for her, the rocket summer. That's one thing I learned from Josephine. I learned that not only can athletes be creative, but they too can love musicals. <laughs> I have also learned that my father is not the only person that has a piece of clothing filled with holes, but still continues to wear it because they can't throw it away. <laughs> and most importantly, it's something I will never forget, and today I am a culprit of it, but you can't tell because I'm wearing a tie, that a white tee and a black shirt means priest comments. <laughs> most importantly, I learned three things from these ladies. I learned passion. I learned compassion. And most of all, I learned design. Ladies and gentlemen, Joanna Pettit and Brittany Sassanoff.
David Denworth, and everyone who has helped build, promote, and support the communication design program. So much hard work has, and dedication has gone into making me, this program the best of its kind, and we are so grateful for that. There are many people who have contributed to our education. Communication design students who have pushed us to become better designers, interior design students, and digital photography students who have collaborated with us on different projects, and the administration and staff who have made it all possible. Britt and I were not part of the first class to begin this program. We belong to a greater group of CD students who have been able to be leaders and to help drive the success of this program and to care enough to help mold it into something that we can all truly be proud of. Britt and I have not been on this journey alone and we will never forget that. We both transferred into this program with previously earned credits. We were both fortunate enough to be able to attend school full time the entire time being here, even if it meant taking six or seven classes at a time, which she only did once before she realized she couldn't keep up. <laughs> but the point is, although we are not the first to begin in this class, we do get to celebrate the pleasure of being the first to graduate. Look for great things to come in the future of communication design here in Harrington. Today is a monumental day, but we've seen many monumental days since we've been here, and we know there will be many, many more to come. Finally, thank you to our families. We cannot do this without your support and help. <laughs> Like now. So anybody who wants to come up and help me, go ahead. We love you. We are so happy you could be here today. And we hope that we have made and will continue to make you proud. Congratulations and best wishes to all the group.